Ooh, I don't know. That one. It's gotcha. It's gotcha. All right. <laughs> Um, in this example, what we have is x squared equals 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, what they're asking you to do is solve. So ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be like, just like any other problem. Um, I, even though I did tell you that when you guys are taking your exam, like at the end, you know, you're probably not going to have calculator for the majority of these. I doubt one of these problems is in there. It's, this is really just kind of get you guys used to, again, solving for these types of problems and really understanding, Ryan, what the square root, cube root, and fourth root represents, Ryan. So just like if you had any other problem, guys, if you had x squared equals 9, to solve for this, you'd take the square root of both sides. So x equals 3. Well, that's going to be the exact same thing we're going to do here. And really, you can simply, I mean, for this problem, I would you know, type in your um, uh, type in uh, you know, the graphing calculator. But the main important thing that I see with this is um, if you didn't understand what the answer is, one thing that I would look at this is you know, try to basically see that how many digits this have. You're taking the square root. You're basically going to be multiplying by itself. So if we have three digits, this one's basically going to need about the six digits as their answer. And if you guys go and type it in your calculator, you take the square root of 0 0.00009, you'll get 0 0.003. But think about it, multiplying by itself twice would give that, um, uh, multiplying by it twice is going to give basically double the amount of uh, your digits, whereas multiplying by three times would be the exact same, would be three times as many amounts. So for instance, 